Welcome to Easy Computer Fixes channel. A uh, quick video for anyone that applied the update of Windows 7 64 bits uh, on premium, but apparently uh, pretty much every 64 bit Windows 7 version can be affected by this. In August of 2014, uh, August 12th, we had several updates on Windows 7. And one of them, which is KB2982791, actually crashed Windows 7 64 bits on some computers. Not everybody is affected. Uh, here I've got three 64 bit computers. None of them has been affected by the bug. Uh, Microsoft rapidly removed the update from its update list. But if you have a blue screen with stop 0x50, that occurred around August 12th, 13th, 14th, or 15th, uh, then you are probably a victim of this problem. So how do you get out of that problem? Well, first of all, you'll need a DVD, a Windows 7 DVD. Now, I know a lot of you have uh, recovery DVDs for, for your computers. Most of them don't work with this error. Uh, what you'll need to have is a real, real uh, Windows DVD that looks like this with the uh, gold um, around it. If you don't have one, look around to, uh, at your friends. Maybe somebody has a Windows 7 DVD that they can lend you just for the fix. With this DVD, you'll insert it in your computer and you'll boot from it. So what you'll want to do is actually insert the DVD and restart your computer. What you should have at startup is a black screen like this one that says um, press any key to boot from CD or DVD and follow the instructions until you get to the Windows install where you'll need to click recovery options and get this system recovery option menu. So follow the instructions on your DVD and here you'll click the system restore. Choose a point that is before the crash. That's, that will remove the updates that you installed. And don't worry, updates will want to reinstall but there's no worry because Microsoft pulled out the um, patch that caused computers to crash. So uh, you can install safely the updates. Uh, as it will not install the one that made your computer crash before. So that's pretty much what you have to do. Now you really need to have one of those system recovery DVDs because uh, system 7, Windows 7 DVD, sorry, not a recovery, but you really need a real Windows 7 DVD uh, to start from because it's the only one that has these recovery options. Uh, if you try to boot into safe mode using F8, apparently the uh, error message is still there so um, apparently you cannot go into the safe mode to actually get the uh, system recovery um, unfortunately so get yourself a Windows 7 DVD even if you have to you know uh, have a friend lend you one for um, just for the fix because you'll be able to fix a computer with that and um, remember, you just have to go to put the disk, boot the computer from the disk, press any key to boot from CD DVD when it asks you to, and finally choose the recovery options and there click System Restore and choose a date that is prior to the problem. Not too far back if possible, but before the problem occurred. So if it happened on August 12th, well try to get August 11th or August 10th um, and you'll get your Windows 7 back in functional because it's going to remove all the updates and especially the one that made the computer crash. So uh, hope it helps. Get yourself one of those Windows 7 DVDs. Ask your friends if you don't have one because a lot of computers came with recovery uh, DVDs and that's not what you want to have. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. If you have any um, problems, any 
videos that you'd like us to make on how to do whatever you want in uh, Windows, Mac, um, iOS, for iPad, iPhone, and so on, let us know and we'll try to put that video online and hopefully help you with your computer. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and hope you will come back to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. Bye-bye.